Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to mask off the stripes when you're painting your Jurassic Park Jeep. Uh, we all know from the guide online that the stripes come down at a 73 degree angle, but uh, over the years I've seen many different techniques that people have used for exactly how they effectively mask off those stripes before they paint it. Uh, one of the most common techniques I see is people using a laser level, uh, which is what I did, but it ended up being a little bit more cumbersome than I had anticipated and it ends up costing like 50 bucks to get a laser level if you don't have one already. Um, so after having painted my Jeep, I discovered another way that was actually cheap, effective, and to steal a line from Ryan George, super easy, barely an inconvenience. So the 73 degree angle actually comes from this panel right here. That's where you get your 73 degrees. So there's an easy way that we can uh, sort of measure that uh, without even having to take out a protractor or anything like that. All I'm gonna do is just take this piece of paper and line it up along the bottom. And I'm gonna fold it over so that going right along that same angle. Pretty happy with that. Now I'm just gonna fold this back to keep it out of the way so I can see I've really got that angle kind of nailed right there. So once I've got my guide, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that, I'm gonna line it up with the top edge of the tub. I'm gonna look down this edge of the paper right here and use it sort of like a gun sight to make sure that it's matching up with where it's supposed to uh, shoot through, in this case, the, uh, the gap between the uh, fender flare and the uh, back end of the side steps there. So I actually uh, managed to get this edge of my stripes on uh, pretty accurately. So you can see that what I've got pretty much matches up with what I've got. And then I can mark that off with just a little bit of tape at the top. And again, looking down there, mark it off at the bottom with a little bit more tape. I guess if I were to do this again, I would measure it about an eighth of an inch different than what I did the first time. On the back side of the stripe, it's even easier. All you have to do is once you've measured out the front side, measure the 14 inches width that the stripe is supposed to be. And then as we line that up on the tub, you don't even have to look down at like a gun sight. You can just put the tape at the top and bottom and you can see on mine that even using a laser level, I ended up with a uh, slightly different angle on the uh, back side here. Uh, so, like I said, it was a little bit more cumbersome to use than just smacking a piece of paper up against the tub to see how things work out. Now, the one thing that uh, this isn't going to help you out with necessarily is going over the edge like this. For that, really, I just recommend eyeballing it. You tape it up on the side, uh, you look at the uh, guide to see exactly how it's supposed to cross over. You know, in this case, as you're looking at it straight from the side, this should look like an unbroken 73 degree angle all the way down uh, from the top of the tub to the bottom of the flare. Over on the front here, uh, this 73 degrees continues almost as though we put the paper on here and wrapped the paper all the way around like so. So when you look at it straight from the side, it's not gonna be a perfect unbroken 73 degree angle. You can see right here, this part, it almost seems to you know cut forward uh, a little bit more than the rest of it does. And yes, I know I painted this at the wrong point. It should have been like three quarters of an inch back. I'm still kicking myself over it and I, I will forever. On the front edge, uh, once the line comes down to the fender flare, it goes at a 90 degree angle. It just comes straight out 90 degrees from here. So. I would recommend just eyeballing that to make it work. And then on the top side, it comes right to the front of the hinge. So knowing that we've got, I believe six and three quarters inches right here, and then the 14 inch width to come right to the front end here, uh, we can measure it from there up to there. Again, I would recommend just eyeballing it. Put some tape down there, stand back. And if it looks like an unbroken line, from the uh, hinges all the way down to the fender flare, then uh, you got it right. If it, uh, if it doesn't, then just take off the tape and do it again. At the end of the day, uh, if it's not perfect, 
no one's really gonna notice anyway. I mean, like I said, this angle is off a little bit. You know, hell, this thing's just off by three quarters of an inch entirely. And uh, yeah, as I'm, I'm looking at the top, I can see that the curve that I have coming around on this side is not quite the same as the way that I have it curving around on this side. Probably hard to tell in the video. Um, it's even hard to tell in person, but you know, it's one of those things that you know, I notice if I look at it close enough, but here's the thing. No one's gonna be looking at it that closely. All right, if I hadn't pointed out this stuff to you, I bet uh, a lot of people wouldn't even notice this, uh, this error right here, much less the slight variances and the angle like so. So don't fret about going out and getting a $50 level, laser level, so you can make your uh, stripes absolutely perfect because even with that $50 laser level, it's, it's probably still not gonna be perfect. So just use that little bit of paper and uh, make yourself a guide and uh, yeah, have at it.